here we have a flat nested piece in which we're going to run a profiling toolpath around. So first of all I'm going to select all of my vectors. I'm going to come to the toolpaths tab and open my profiling toolpath. Now here we have the option to profile along the curve, inside the curve or outside of the curve. In this case I want to profile around the outside of the curve. Now this allows me to set an offset allowance so if I wanted to machine outside further than the vector so a couple of millimeters outside of the vector I could type in an allowance there. Here we have my start depth, so if I'm working on a flat bit of material and I want to start a couple of millimetres down into my design, I could type in 2 for instance. My finish depth, I want to cut all the way through the bottom of my material. So I'm going to use 12 for this because my material is 12 millimetres thick. tool I'm going to be used to cut with will be a 6 millimetre end mill tool. And I'm using a ramping in move, but I want to smooth. So I can use a spiral to spiral in. I can use a zigzag, so it will come in from one side, as shown in this pattern, and zigzag in. Or I can smooth ramp, so I'll smooth ramp in and smooth cut down as well. My cut sequence. I'm using optimize so it's going to automatically do this for me and I can allow this to go left to right right to left top to bottom spiraling in if I had larger pieces and I was working my way in or I could manually select the vectors in what order to produce them in I'm just going to use automatic for now I'm going to define my material to be the thickness of my final cut which I chose which was 12 millimeters from the top of my block so I'm going to calculate this now and come over to the 3d view to take a look at how this is being produced so if I first of all come across to the circle we can see by using that smooth ramping it's just slowly ramping its way down and down and down to create a finished cut. Whereas if I was to use a zigzag on this procedure and select all of my vectors again, we would see we get a different cut. So it zigzag in, go round, zigzag in, go down, zigzag in, go round. So the best one for this would be smooth. And as it's going round the process, it's just stepping down slightly on each move in, preserving the tool itself. And we can see that it's doing one and then it's lifting or retracting and moving to the next toolpath, going round, retracting, moving, going round to the spiral, retracting, going round the edge of this one, and so on all the way round the design. Now if you were to change these optimization points, so if I wanted this to start top to bottom and calculate this, you can see there that it has changed its process in how it works. It still picked the same start point on the vectors, but it was changed. So if I do this again, and use right to left, we'll see they've changed again. So it's starting from the right hand side and working its way around the design itself. I'm going to use optimize for it to allow it to do the fastest minimum amount of retracts suitable for this tool. Or for this piece of artwork so that's one of the basic or setting up a profiling toolpath itself